the first DIY project I made uh, when I got into fountain pens was a paper pen holder. And when I first got my 3D printer, uh, one of the first things I wanted to make was a better version of that. And I've been kind of thinking about that uh, well, ever since. And now I finally made made one. The idea of this stand is to have all of my pens kind of displayed upright, with most of them being visible and also easily accessible. So I can just kind of grab them. Um, so the design here is to have a slot on the bottom for them to kind of go into and then a rest on the top to hold it in place and with this design it's able to hold pretty much any size of pen and I printed them in two different sizes this is the larger size and then this is the smaller size this one is about a centimeter and a half, and the larger size is two centimeters. And this smaller one I designed pretty much just to kind of save space because even the bigger ones are able to hold these smaller pens just fine. There's just some wasted space there. And I'm going to have this on my desk, and I don't want to use up more space than I really need to. And as you can see, I printed it in three different parts. Um, this was kind of just so I don't have as long of a print. So I separated it into three smaller prints, and it took over 20 hours in total to print. They print on their side like this, and just kind of build up. And I designed these parts in Blender because I'm still not very good at FreeCAD. It's a pretty difficult program to learn. And the dimensional accuracy of these aren't uh, all of that important. So I was able to just kind of use pretty basic measurements. I made sure that these pieces are pretty strong. They're nice and sturdy. I used, I think it's four walls all the way around with a pretty pretty thick infill so they're nice and sturdy they have they're still pretty light but they have a decent weight to them so that even these you know heavier metal pens aren't gonna knock it over one thing i am a little bit worried about is scratching on you know the softer plastic pens because it is a fairly hard plastic that these are made out of. Um, so if I start to notice, you know, scratching on my nicer pens, I'll glue in some felt on the kind of contact points, which shouldn't be too hard, but it just kind of might take a while. So I'm just not going to bother with that until I start noticing problems. Because I'm not super worried about scratching, but if it becomes a problem, then I'll deal with it. 